So a few days ago, I was with some teenagers, and they were talking about the high school student that shot, shot and killed another high school student in Butner, North Carolina, outside of Charlotte. And I heard them talking about all the what ifs. If I was there and that was my friend, I'd have done this. If that happened to my brother or my sister or my cousin, you know, I would do this. You know, if I went to school there, I would go to a different school. All of these what ifs if I was somebody different. And I didn't say anything, which is tough for me because I usually have a lot of opinions and a lot of thoughts. I just listen. And I pondered on it for a couple of days. And I thought about what can I really do for people that I don't know that live hours away or even days away. And I came up with a conclusion that I can pray. It's a little crazy, I know. But the Bible says, give me your burdens. My yoke is light. My burdens are my worries, my struggles, my challenges, the things that make me angry, the things that make me sad, the things that I don't like. Give me God saying, give him my burdens. His yoke is light. He wants to take my pain away. He wants to be my best friend. He wants to be the person that I go to when I have problems. So I believe there is hope I can pray for the families and friends who lost someone who was near and dear to him to a human death, which I can pray that that young man is in heaven. And for the young man whose life is going to be turned upside down for having taken the life of another and all of his family and friends. Because I believe that forgiveness is always an option because our father is such a loving father and I'm not a pastor but that we all have the ability to change I make many mistakes I make mistakes every day every day and I ask myself why and I find myself asking for forgiveness and then I I find myself coming back to the same thing that I'm human. I make mistakes. I can only hope to get better. So I can pray that these individuals get stronger. They gain wisdom. As Solomon said, wisdom was the greatest gift, the only thing that he asked for. And I could ask for anything. And that they all grow closer to God. That I grow closer to God. That you closer to God. Is prayer hard? No. It's not. Sometimes we make it harder than it is. Prayer is no more than just talking out loud or even in your mind to God. Telling Him the things that He already knows that He just wants to hear you say. Like if you're a parent, you have a child and you already know that they did something wrong but you want to hear them say it. You want them to own it. You don't want them to lie about it. You want them to say, I did it. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. And you hope they learn from it. That's all that I believe God wants from us. For us to own our mistakes. And to say, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll try and do better. So what I'm hoping to learn from listening to that conversation, and maybe it helps you, maybe it doesn't, is when I hear those tragedies on the news, <clears throat> in the media, in the radio, and secondhand from other people at work, 
about all the bad things that's going on in the world. Instead of thinking, what if I was there? What if I was someone else? I say, what is it that I can do as me? What is it I can do from right here? For me, it's going to be quick. It's going to be simple. It's going to be God. I, I ask that you give strength to these families, to these individuals, to these people, that you can somehow show them the good, the light, that can come from this, the wisdom to learn from what they've experienced, what they're experiencing now, and to somehow use it to draw them closer to you. And that when we are guilty, because I am guilty of not listening sometimes, and if they're not listening, please, just please don't ever stop reaching out to them. Your arms are always open. Because we are all just children and we all just need to grow and become closer to you and more like you. And so just like every child makes mistakes, we've all been children or maybe we are still children, um, there's a learning curve. And allow us to continue to learn every day to make you proud of who we are. In Jesus' name, amen.